we are here in the woods and look it's bluebell season aren't they beautiful absolutely stunning and we have some shoots planned here it's uh, myself and Luke from Creative Light we have a couple of concepts um, we didn't just want to do lady sitting in blue dress um, amidst the bluebells so we have a couple of um, well one unusual concept actually both concepts are quite unusual um, I'll make a correction three all three concepts are quite unusual Let's see what you think when we get them done I'll try and take some um, behind the scenes videos I'll get uh, Luke to do that his camera his phone is better than mine so you may notice a difference in quality between his and mine we also don't have the um, microphone with us so you may have a problem with the sound quality but we'll do our best the first concept we're going for is a bit of a Lara Croft theme I have um, well you can't really see what I'm wearing here um, you'll see it in the photographs I have a Lara Croft type outfit on. This light is incredibly unflattering. It's very harsh. It's bringing out all my wrinkles. I don't have a problem with my age. I'm approaching 56. What else do you expect to see on my face? Um, if, it not, if it's not, you know, wrinkles and lines and, and they show my character. They show my experiences. And walking here today, I actually came up with a shoot concept that will, um, enhance uh, that mindset um, and hopefully hopefully help older people who are struggling with oh I look so old well yes what's the problem with that what is the problem with looking old why do we want to look young youth is amazing I loved my youth and there are elements of it I would like to recapture but I am so happy being in my mid 50s and approaching my 60s um, I'm very fortunate I have uh, relatively good health um, I actually have very good health a few issues but nothing I'm gonna talk about on here um, because that's not of um, oh I'm digressing one day I'll do one of these and I won't waffle yeah I think that's unlikely um, yeah, so I'm lucky in that I am fit and active and healthy and a lot of people aren't and I can understand that that is frustrating um, in terms of growing older, but why, why Photoshop out the wrinkles? Why smooth the skin? Okay, you've got a spot, a pimple, take it out. I've got a rash at the moment, which is some kind of allergy to some skin product. I don't know what the skin product is that's causing the allergy, but I'm gonna to have to try and work it out because it's, um, it's really itchy. But other than that, I am what you see in the photographs. Um, and there are youngsters out there who are bemoaning the fact that they are getting older. They're in their 20s or their 30s. Um, what is the problem with getting older? What is the problem? Why, why make yourself look younger? You're not younger. You are the age you are. Celebrate it, embrace it, enjoy it, because you're not gonna get these years again. However much you do to your photographs, you are never going to be that age again. So enjoy the age you are. I am spouting so much on this one, I'm sorry. <laughs> This was not the intention when I started this video. It was all about uh, celebrating bluebells. Um, but now I'm celebrating age. It's important. We, as a society, revere youth. Why? Older people are the ones with probably more wisdom than the youngsters. We certainly have more experiences. And a lot of the time we have a darn sight more fun. Right, anyway, so back to the point. The point is, this first one is a Lara Croft kind of concept. Um, it's a combination of ideas between Luke and I. Uh, he came up with the original um, idea for the physical side of this shoot, this, um, this particular set, and I twisted it to become a Lara Croft one. So I'll see if it works. I'm really excited about it. 
and then we'll lead you on to the next two. All right, I'll catch up with you in a minute. Now, this is the patch that we are looking to shoot um, in. You can see it's just stunning. A lot of dog walkers out. There's Luke down there. A lot of families out. Now, there is a sign uh, as we approach the um, start of the wood, and it says to maintain social distancing, which is um, not in this case relating to people it's relating to the bluebells and it's asking people to stay off the bluebells to allow them to return next year uh, keep your dogs on the lead um, and stick to the designated paths well we are on a designated path i'm not going to go any further up there that's an animal track um, so beautiful here it really is but we are on one of the designated footpaths so as you can see it's very well worn goes all the way down so we are not damaging the bluebells by being in here and we are going to maintain that um, approach with all three concepts that we are doing today because protecting the environment um, it's important and if people trample these bluebells, then year after year, they may not come back. Um, obviously, the temptation is to just wander in them, uh, to lay in them. But the amount of flowers you would crush doing that is, use the word criminal, that's a little bit excessive, but it is wrong. Nature is so beautiful. And these habitats, these environments won't remain if we abuse them it's so beautiful here uh, this is a place called Hurst Wood uh, in Tumbridge Wells and it is on our doorstep um, it took us less than 10 minutes to walk to this wood you can hear the sound of children parents playing with children it's it's idyllic here. I mean, it's such a beautiful day. Look, it's so beautiful. And um, yeah, a little slice of English perfection. Gorgeous. Right, final preparations. This is the costume, well, costume, outfit, whatever you want to call it. It's just things, things actually I wear every day. Um, whether I look like Lara Croft excuse me, or not, well, that's questionable, <laughs> but I'm trying my best and um, hopefully this will work as a concept when you see it in the image. But uh, yeah, aging Lara Croft. Angelina Jolie, beat your heart out. Don't think she's got anything to worry about somehow. <laughs> right. We have finished concept number one. There's my lovely Luke carrying his lighting stand. We haven't used lights yet, um, but we have some other ideas which may use lights. But again, this wood, look, it's beautiful. This part is fenced off because they want to um, repair the riparian bank, um, which I'd never heard of the word riparian, but it's to do with the river bank apparently. Um, so to help uh, stabilize the wildlife down there, wildlife um, in terms of plant life, and stop erosion, they have fenced that footpath off you can't go down that one and then there's another one at the top that you can't go down um, so yes we're trekking further along this wood to see if we can find another section to do concept number two so concept number one was the Lara Croft which worked well I think um, very good for my core strength <laughs> Um, concept number two 
involves a little ornamental birdcage that I bought from a charity shop last week. I've wanted a birdcage for a while, it's a tiny little one, um, but I have an idea. I have picked some bluebells from my own garden to bring with me and um, they're going in the cage. So it's up to the viewer of the image to interpret whether I am bringing bluebells to liberate them uh, from the cage into the wild, whether I am capturing bluebells that I have just picked. As I say, I bought them from my garden, but I could have picked them from here uh, in terms of the image. Or whether I am just bringing my pet bluebells uh, to their natural habitat to say, look, here are all your friends in the wild. Strange concept, I know, um, but it is open to the viewer's interpretation as to what you guys think as to what you're seeing. Um, yeah, so we're looking for a path. Again, we're not going to trample on the bluebells. We are going where there already are footpaths and um, we're just trying to find the right place. And Lucas stood waiting for me. <laughs> Very patient man. Um, and I think we found somewhere. Possibly just up there. Right, concept number two, underway. Right, ready for concept number two. We have found a, another path that's already um, trodden in, uh, well, it's, it's, it's a regular footpath, basically. So again, we're not going to be damaging the bluebells. And I have bluebells that I have brought from the garden at home. I don't have any bluebells left in the garden now. Um, and this is my little cage that I got from the town, from the charity shop. And I hope this concept's going to work when you see the pictures. Um, so it's it's an image in my head, um, and looks pretty good at capturing the capturing the images that I have in my head. Um, it's not always easy for us to explain to one another what we mean uh, when we have an idea, but um, I think we just we get each other um, pretty well. And uh, quite often we actually come up with the same ideas um, at the same time. So I think he's going to get this one spot on. Uh, so I'm going to wander up there um, along the footpath and uh, I'll show you the finished images. And uh, maybe I'll get Luke to video me as I wander. Ah, oh, it's a white bluebell. I love white bluebells. Um, I should have put the white bluebell in here, but then that would have been would mean picking it from here, which I'm not prepared to do. Um, but that would have been cool. Right, it's a beautiful day here. Um, here we go, concept number two. I'm ready. Overseas watching this, this is a typical English woodland during bluebell season. Look, just beautiful. I know other countries have wonderful um, landscapes, beautiful plants, and interesting climates, but I wouldn't swap living in England for anything. It's it's stunning. Oh, the wind's picked up <laughs> and the sun's gone. But um, it's coming back. It's definitely coming back. So I'm glad we stopped for lunch right now because um, I wouldn't want to be doing art nude uh, with this wind about. But it's still beautiful here. It's just, ah, it's just lovely. We have stopped for a little bit of lunch. Actually, no idea what the time is. We had intended to get up early for today's shoot and get to the woods by nine o'clock. Um, we didn't actually get up until half past nine. So um, 
all I know is I'm hungry. So we have bread, we have cheese, we have other little bits and pieces. Nice, healthy, relaxed lunchtime amongst this beautiful, beautiful countryside. We're just in a little clearing um, by the footpath, just having our lunch. Concept number two is done. Concept number three, also involving bluebells, um, is about to commence once we finished our lunch. After which we have a couple of art nude concepts that we want to explore. The only issue here, as always, um, is people being around. There are a lot of families, um, and as you know, I have no issue with being nude. And with people see me being nude, it's a natural state, but um, in front of children when you know families are coming around the corner and find a nude woman that's not going to sit well with uh with most people so we avoid that um but i'm just going to turn the camera around and um you'll be able to see me if i can work out how to turn the camera around i can't while i'm taking video so you're just gonna have to look at bluebells instead of my face which is probably preferable um yeah so if we can find a secluded area where look at those bluebells just going off into the distance if we can find a secluded area, we will do the art new today because it's, it's really lovely and warm here. Um, there's a, a lovely soft breeze. You can see the trees and hear them creaking slightly, moving in the wind. Um, and then we have one, f actually no, we have two more clothes concepts. So if we can get everything done today, it's going to be a really busy day, a very productive day. And oh my goodness, the amount of editing we will have uh, to do after this is going to be ludicrous. I'm really looking forward to showing you the images from this. Such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. Look at that. The sun right up there somewhere. There it is. Just breathtakingly gorgeous. All right, catch up again with you a little bit later on. number three. <laughs> a bit of an odd one. I've just put on a shed load of makeup including blue lipstick although it's not blue lipstick it's blue eyeshadow mixed with um, lip gloss. I have my wig. I love wigs. I don't actually think they suit me. I think they're a bit harsh. Um, am I too old for wigs? I don't know. But this is kind of So I'm trying to be bluebell coloured. The concept will make sense when you see the images. I'm looking forward to this one. The wind has picked up. The sun has disappeared a little bit, but we're going to persevere with this one. <sighs> Wish me luck. I feel a bit of a wally. Nothing new there. So, do you remember me just saying that I hoped Luke would be able to capture this um, concept for me and I wasn't sure? Well, I think we nailed it. This is exactly what I had in my head. Look at that. I don't know if you can see terribly well, you've got a lot of reflection from me in there. But that is straight on the back of the camera. It's gone. <laughs> no Photoshop, no editing, just straight there. That is exactly what I wanted. Happy girl. And we're just going to do another little concept as well. Um, just a little bit over there. Okay, 
so we snuck a fourth concept into the bluebells um, kind of a bit of a take on the other ones really pleased with how the wig and makeup worked very pleased excuse him he's um, dealing with uh, diffusers on his light and his light box soft box whatever it's called um, yeah really pleased with the color match uh, on that gown that I was wearing that was a pound from a charity shop it's far too big for me uh, it's just some oriental style um, coat I'm not sure what it is actually it's rather beautiful and it is the perfect match for the bluebells so much so that I heard somebody down on the path looking up um, must have caught sight of a movement and said oh look she's camouflaged <laughs> they could barely see me against the bluebells we have decamped to another part of the woods where the focus is not going to be bluebells because there are some there are a few up behind me um, but basically we're in a much wider area of path you can just see it going up behind me um, this is still Hurstwood it's so beautiful but what is rather cool here is this if you can see behind me there's a sign uh, no admittance to vehicles and uh, it's some kind of thoroughfare uh, at some stage but look at this look at that amazing fence post the tree has grown over it. There is the other bit of the fence post and this behind me would have been the um, well the roadway I think um, by judging from the sign. We are now doing a concept that is Luke's. He's setting up over there. Um, it's a combination of uh, a reference photograph that I found at the Surrealist um, exhibition at the Tate and I showed it to Luke and said I'd really like to do something like this and he's twisted it um, to be the concept that we're going to try and create now so um, I love the way he's um, reworking this this idea we're going to do the original concept um, at some stage but it'll be inside um, it involves candlelight um, either be inside or perhaps at a derelict building or something we need, uh, we need something stark as opposed to nature but this one this is Luke's so I'm really looking forward to this it takes minimal effort on my part I'm basically going to put a black dress over what I'm wearing so I don't even have to uh, bother to get really changed um, a pair of black gloves and you will not see my face. So I don't even have to bother about my makeup because at the moment, I don't know if you can see, I took off all the blue and lilac and purple that I put on for the bluebell shoot with the wig. And I kind of have a weird mismatch of nothing left on certain parts of my face. So you're not gonna see my face now. Sadly, I think we're aborting the idea of trying to do Art Nude uh, today. There are, well, Bizarrely, there's actually no one here right now, but we have passed so many groups of people and they have passed us that I can guarantee if we tried to start Art Needs somewhere, um, some family would, would just saunter past and we would be um, in an awkward position. So I think we're not going to give it a go today, which is a shame because it's an amazing location. Who knows? Oh gosh, the number of times I said we're not doing Art Nude and we end up you never know. Never say never. Anyway, this could be the last concept of the day. Um, we're going to stop fairly soon, regardless of whether we do art nude or not, because we want to um, actually be able to get home and do some edits. Um, otherwise, they will just sit. We're both so busy at the moment with work. They will both just sit on our um, systems and not get touched. And I have a backlog of other editing um, that I need to attend to. So I'm going to crack on. I hope you've enjoyed um, being with us today. As always, please come and find me on Instagram. Please come and find me on Facebook. Um, 
I have an OnlyFans site for uh, Uncensored Art Nude, as you know, and reference images and some other um, sets of images are available to buy on Bentbox. If you're interested in finding out a little bit more about how all of these shoots went today, all of these sets, then pop over to Creative Lights um, YouTube channel because he has done a little bit about the settings and the setups and the lightings um, arrangements for today's um, shoot and uh, you can see a little bit of the, uh, the detail of how we got on with um, creating the, uh, the finished images. Um, I think that's it for now. I'll catch up again with you very soon. Enjoy these images. Bye bye. We're back in the Bluebells. We thought we had finished the Lara Croft themed shoot, but when we got home and had a look at the images, we discovered that it didn't really work. Here is the image we ended up with. Now that was the best of the lot, but the problem is we didn't have the height and we need the height for me to appear to be hovering over the bluebells as opposed to in amongst the bluebells. So what we have done is we've come back with a taller stool. Can you see it just there? Just there. That's my kitchen stool. So I am now going to balance on that. Um, we also have a branch up above where Luke is going to flick a rope and hopefully the whole thing will work. Um, Again, if you pop over to his page, um, I think he's going to be doing an update on this shoot. So there'll be a little bit more technical information in there. Once again, we have chosen a patch that there is a little um, bare area in the middle where I've put the stool. And there's a little pathway into it, so we're not damaging anything. And as luck would have it, we have found a broken clump of bluebells with... Um, a white one that was trampled down. So, because uh, those daffodils that I had for the last time have died. So we are going to do the shoot with the white bluebell. Um, with the idea that I am either planting it in there or plucking it out. It really is for the viewer to find out, or, or to, to make up their own mind really, not find out, but to, to discover the meaning for themselves. Now I know some of you don't like to have the spoiler alert uh, to see you know, how the shots are constructed, um, but some of you do. So this one, um, I'm telling you exactly how we did it and what we're doing. As I say, if you want the technical information, pop over to Creative Light and you can see his on there. We don't have an awful lot of time this evening. I have got a badminton match uh, to play later, a ladies doubles uh, with my daughter as my doubles partner. We've got that later on. So we have limited time here, but while we're here, we're also going to do another couple of concepts, um, which I'm really excited about. And probably won't pop the images on here. You can come and find those on Instagram. Um, or I might do another, I might do another um, YouTube. I'm gonna sneeze, oh dear. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> ah, no editing on this one. <laughs> yeah, so you'll see that one, um, as I say, perhaps at a later date on here or over on YouTube. Right, I'm going to go and do the shoot now and I'll come back to you when it's done and let you know how we got on. And we're done. I think it worked. Luke seems happy with the pictures he's got. Um, definitely seems to have worked better to have the height 
And to be honest, the patch of bluebells that we're in is better as well. We're on the flat surface, whereas before we were on quite the slope and trying to find somewhere to settle the, um, the stool before was quite difficult, whereas here it's very simple and straightforward. This wood is gorgeous. Look. Just take you around it. That's my Luke. It's just so beautifully dizzy yet. I am. Gosh. There's just so many bluebells here. So many. It's just stunning. Uh, we are going to do the other concepts now. Um, one concept, two takes on it. Um, it'll be quite fun, quite silly. And hopefully it will work. It's not the warmest of evenings, but it's actually not too bad. I'd love to do Art Nude. It's beautiful light. But again, I don't know. There's no one around. We haven't seen anybody since we came up here. We had some um, children earlier, but there's a school playing field further over that way. I think they were having some kind of game up there. And we saw a family walking a dog earlier, but that was in the lower part. So I might even get away with Art Nude here. Again, if we do, I will make another YouTube video for it and show you the images on there. For now though, cheerio, and see you again next time. Please come and follow me, like, subscribe, share, etc, etc, etc. Bye bye.